So this project is a golf club coat rack. Now most golf club coat racks I've seen online, they just use the tops, um, but I actually put the handles as well into my coat rack. Now I'm actually making this for my boss, and he's going to be my boss for three more days, because I'm leaving the company that I've been with for 16 years, so I wanted to make him something a little special because uh, he does like golf. So if you want to stick around, I'll show you how I made it. So I went to Rockler and I picked up the ugliest piece of poplar I could find because I actually wanted the green heartwood. I figured the green coloring would be good for this because, well, let's face it, golf courses are green. So I've already marked out, I've traced around the outline and the locations where I'm going to place everything. And I'm just going to cut this off on a chop saw and then cut it out with a bandsaw. marked a half inch in from the end and now I'm just going to cut it off. There's one. black. So I'm going to use the three blue handles on the, the workpiece, which means I'm going to experiment on how to cut through the plastic grip and the pipe using this one. Now I want these to be two and a half inches long, uh, so I'm only going to stick out two inches and I'll need a half inch to stick it in the hole. Okay, so the first cut is going to be at two inches, and that's just to get through the, the grip. Hopefully this is sharp enough to cut through the rubber and not just mash it. Sounds good. Now I'm going to 
drill the holes for the clubs using a 3 8 inch drill bit and I'm not going to drill all the way through so I've set my stop. Now I couldn't find a 9 16 inch Forstner bit so I, I had to pick up a twist bit, which I don't really like using twist bits in wood because it usually tears up the, su the side of the hole when it first goes in. But this is all I can find. A little tear on the side, but it's not bad, and it'll be covered by the grip on these holes, so I'm not concerned by that. Okay, so I'm gonna put a couple of coats of clear lacquer on it. I'm gonna do the back first. I'm only going to put one coat on the back. Once it dries, I'll flip it over and then put many, many coats on the front. Okay, so I've got five coats of spray lacquer on here. So now I'm going to cut up some teas I just got. And these are going to be basically these are going to be plugs to cover the screw holes. We're going to mount it on the wall. Now the center one I'm going to actually glue in place, that's just to make it look, I don't know, I think it's going to make it look better. I thought this was a good idea, but they aren't wedging in place like I thought they would. Now I wanted to put them in like this, so that the right side will be up to hold it in place better but I notice you're going to be looking right at this the whole time so I'm going to have to place it so that it sets like this so that the eagle's up and down oh it's going to look weird So it's pretty much done. I still need to figure out how the heck I'm going to attach these after I put the center mounted to the wall. Alright, now it's done.